What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Shape. <laughs> Welcome back to Shape. Oh, f this is gonna be a long day. Welcome back to Make It Custom. I'm Carl Fisher, and today we are gonna look at one of my favorite tools in the shop. This is the Sosa Metalwork Shape-O-Matic Power Hammer. So what it is, is it's a Helv hammer design built by Christian Sosa of Sosa Metalworks, and um, he sells these hammers complete, as well as builder's kits. I bought the builder's kit a few years ago, um, which means that it came with all the necessary pieces for me to build it. Um, all these parts were already done. Um, all I had to do was build the frame for the hammer. So if you've got you know, enough competence to uh, wanna pursue metal shaping, you probably know how to build the frame of this, and uh, it's a huge money saver and it's a great machine. So um, I just wanted to show you a little bit how it works. So this, we've got a, a single speed 220 volt motor, it's two horsepower. It powers this, uh, this pulley here, which is a machined crankshaft with a bearing that goes up and actuates this spring here. That's the Helve hammer design is it's a sprung, you know, um, uh, fulcrum point hammer, I guess you could say. I'm not really an expert in machines, but I'm gonna give you the best explanation I can as to how it works. So what it does is when this is turning, um, we've got a foot pedal here that tightens on the belt. It's got this little tensioning wheel here, as well as when you let go, there's a little rubber pad that stops the wheel. It's a really smart design. It's uh, got a little spring-loaded um, actuator there. So that is what controls it. You can control the speed with your foot as to how hard you push down is how hard the uh, belt tightens as to how fast the machine is going to go. So there is a lot of feathering that needs to be done when you're using the machine. You can, you can lightly tap it, you can hit it really hard, um, and it all kind of depends on what you're doing with it and what gauge material you are, what is going on with your shapes. Dies are interchangeable, top and bottom. The dies I have on here right now are called thumbnail dies. These are ones that he had made um, and, and gave to me with the kit. So right now you see that it's called a thumbnail die because basically it looks like looks like your thumbnail. The uh, the top die, that female die, is basically just a notch cut in it for this lower die. So what it does is it creates a wrinkle when you push your sheet metal in. It it smashes a wrinkle into it. And then as you pull your sheet metal out, it pushes the wrinkle back together, which shrinks the material. Uh, it's the best explanation I can give you of that. The, the rest of the dies are of all different radiuses. We've got a flat upper die, and then we've got curved lower dies. And these are, are basically like planishing dies, I guess, or, or smoothing dies. It's, it's a little bit rougher than a planishing hammer on the finish because of how hard of a hitting hammer it is and how it doesn't hit as fast as a planishing hammer. So a planishing hammer after using this would get a perfect finish. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna demonstrate the hammer with the shrinking dies first. I've just got a circle. This is actually what we did in his metal shaping class. The first thing he gets you to do is make a bunch of bowls. And that's what I'm gonna do today, is just circle a piece of sheet metal, I'm gonna shrink all the way around it a bunch, and then I'm gonna change over to these dies and show you it just getting smoothed out, and then I'll probably top it off with my planishing hammer. Let's get to it. Oh, and this thing's super loud. It's also called the noisy boy in this shop. A little bit of lubrication, never hurt.
we've got a little bit of a bowl started. I have uh, stack shrunk just the last few inches of the edge here. This is just something really quick. We don't have a real shape that we're trying to get after. I'm just trying to show you what it takes to make something dope with this machine. It happens really fast as you can see. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm just gonna swap over to our radius dies and we're just gonna clean up this profile a little bit and then we'll planish it and that'll be that. going to stop there for a second to kind of show you the two halves here. I've gone over the radius, sorry, half of the sheet metal with the radius dies here. I'm just stacking them on top of each other just to transfer that shape. I've also kind of pounded this flat spot a little bit to stretch it up with these dies. There you can see how well it's working, how quickly. I mean, I'm not sure how long that was, but it couldn't have been long. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, finish doing the whole piece raise this up, try and get a nice even dome. We'll clean it off, show it to you before we hit it, hit it with the planishing hammer. So what we've got now is just our hubcap, I'll say. Looks like a, uh, a 40s Chrysler hubcap, little dog dish hubcap. But it did a really nice job of getting a pretty even radius in that. I mean, like I said, I didn't map anything out here. I was just kind of freehanding a dome. So um, my consistency could certainly be off, but I think we did a pretty good job. In a few minutes with this hammer, you can really achieve some major shape. And as far as hammers on the market, hit up Sosa for this one. It's the most bang for your buck, pun intended. I'm gonna try the uh, planishing hammer out. This is a machine that, that I've developed. It's just a planishing hammer, but it's a hoop style hammer. I'm kind of prototyping, making some more portable handheld hinged hoop hammers. Yeah, let's just see what we can do to the shape and see how nice we can get it. Gonna tighten it up a little bit.
right, I think we've come far enough just to give our demonstration here. So I'm just gonna give this a little bit of a wipe. I'll show you what we, what we ended up with. So you can see here, this really smooth half that's been planished. And, uh, and you can see the hammer marks here, but man, like the, this is just with the Sosa hammer, this Shape-O-Matic has done this right here. So there's a little bit of marking left, but, but hardly anything. So paired with a planishing hammer, you can really do just about anything with this, uh, with the Shape-O-Matic. All right, everybody, have a good one. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, hit notifications, and join us on the next video. See you next time.